Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Kareem. So, so far through your uh, course of your NBA career here with the Orlando Magic, what, what have you enjoyed about being with the team and, and what have you learned about some of your new teammates? Uh, I think what I enjoy the most is just practice, you know, every day, getting better, getting feeling, feeling that you're getting better every single day. Like I said, you just come in here, play against the best in the world. That's something that you want to do if you're a competitor. So just getting better in that way and just playing games and just basically just living out my dream. You know, that's that's something that I was always looking forward to. And now that I'm able to to live it, it's, it's definitely fun. And uh, what have I learned from my teammates? It's just uh, they, they're pretty good. And then I was expecting that, but just everybody's pretty good. You know, you you, you come in here, you expect some guys to, to, to show up at every single day and they, they do, and they're really efficient in what they do and, and, and they work and everything they do. So that's something that I was really impressed by. And um, yeah, some of the guys are, are real, real funny, real, real comedians. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Hey, thanks for doing this, Kareem. Uh, Wondering, uh, we understand that you started to play basketball relatively late um, along the way. So I'm curious, how old were you uh, where this did become a dream for you to, to be in the NBA? And, and why did it become a dream for you? Uh, basically for me, I just had a change of heart. Basically growing up, my main sport was playing soccer and I played that till probably the age of 16. And then that's when I had to change the heart. I was still playing both sports from 12 to 15, 16. And then at 16, that's why I went to play for an inner city team back back uh, in Montreal. And then that, that's why I really had to change the heart. And I started playing basketball, taking it serious. And from that point on, I decided that it would have, in soccer, my goal was to, to be a pro too. So it's just, it, I had the same goal in basketball and I kept, I kept working. And by the grace of God, I'm, I'm here today. Olivier Paradis Lemu. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's almost it's almost my name. <laughs> it's Olivier Paradis Lemieux. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bonjour. Donc une question en français pour pour Karim. Euh, ben Karim, d'abord, ben merci d'être là aujourd'hui. Simplement, première minute dans, dans la NBA, euh, il y a à peu près deux jours, le 31. Euh, comment tu comment évaluerais, en fait, donc, ces, ces premières minutes-là? C'était quoi tes sensations, en fait, d'être enfin là sur un terrain de la NBA? Um, en fait, je me sentais comme je me sens à chaque game. Bon, pas pour pas le mentir, là, comme c'est. Comme là, on, a, on a eu des games pré-saison, on a eu tous ces games-là. So, mon premier sentiment pour arriver sur un coach, c'est vraiment passé en pré-saison. Puis, comme aujourd'hui, la dernière game que j'ai joué, j'ai juste pris ça comme une, comme une game normale. Je, je joue mon rôle. Puis, je pense, je pense que j'ai bien fait là, à, 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 si on regarde le, le total du match. Josh Cohen. Hi, Kareem. Uh, how different was the speed of the game while you were playing against Philadelphia, obviously, from your past basketball, basketball experience? Um, it's pretty much the same as practice, you know. I got, I kind of got used to it, so now it's not really much a difference to me. You know, I, I've been playing the speed for I've been with the team for about a month in practice, and we play at pretty much at the same speed. It's a fast, fast pace, and everything's fast pretty much. Then you get used to it pretty quickly. So, I got it was pretty quick, but I, I was used to it, and I, and I I like to I like to play fast too. So, it was it was convenient for me, and it was it was not something that I had to think about or adjust during the game or anything like that. Antonin Bessner. Merci. Euh, salut Karim, merci de prendre le temps de nous parler en français aujourd'hui. J'ai deux questions. Euh, premièrement, depuis ton arrivée avec le Magic dans la NBA, tu es passé bon, du système québécois à la NBA. C'est quoi les grands ajustements que tu as eu à faire? Um, les plus grands ajustements, je dirais, c'est comme avant, je parle, la première fois que je suis arrivé ici, c'était vraiment le, la, la vitesse de jeu. C'était la, la plus grosse différence. Et... Juste le fait que tu dois, tu dois apprendre les plays le, le plus rapidement possible parce qu'on n'avait pas beaucoup de temps en pré-saison et tout. So, je pense que c'était ça les, les plus grosses différences. Ce soir, vous affrontez le Thunder et le Gensdor. Il y a aussi euh, Cambridge dans votre équipe. Donc, il va y avoir pas mal de Québécois ce soir euh, pour le match. Est-ce que ça a une signification particulière pour toi? Euh, pour moi, pas vraiment. Mais moi, je pense que pour les jeunes Québécois qui voient qui ça à la, à la maison, ils voient trois, trois gars qui viennent de Montréal qui sont sur un, sur un terrain de basket. NBA, ou ce qu'ils que, euh, rêvent d'être, ça, ça devrait vraiment dire, ça devrait les inspirer, c'est vraiment le, les, les inspirer à, à travailler encore plus fort et à leur donner l'espoir que si on, nous on peut le faire, vous pouvez le faire aussi.
Merci beaucoup. Bon match ce soir. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Kareem, we appreciate the time. You, you mentioned that you played four sports uh, between the ages of 12 and 16. What, what were those four sports? No, I didn't say I played four sports. I, did, I said I played uh, soccer and basketball. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I did I did a little bit of taekwondo too. I, I was I, I did karate when I was back home too. So I guess you can say four. Gotcha. And, and then if I can follow up real quick, you know, obviously you've worked hard to get to this point. So you you know you have a good work ethic. But what are some things you're learning about, you know, what it takes to get better at at this level of basketball? Um, I think the main thing is just be more efficient with everything, with your decision making, and um. Your, your shot, uh, dribble decision off the off the pick and roll, like I said, and everything, everything in general, just be more a more efficient player, and then just learn it as much as you can. I think that that's the biggest thing. And the seeing seeing from the guys how they work, that they, they get in they get in the gym, but it's really about what they do in the games. They, that's that's really what they work on. So instead of working on overall, they're just trying to perfect what they what they have right now, and then build on that. So that's something that I'm I'm doing right now too. Josh Robbins. How much has having uh, Kem around helped you? Uh, he's been a big help. You know, as soon as I got here, he's pretty much pretty much been on my side, and uh, he's been he's been telling me, helping me during practice about the plays and everything like that, so I can learn quicker. And then, like, I got here before uh, training camp and everything started, so I got I got I got to work out with him and some of the guys on on, on the team. So it was pretty uh, easy transition having him here and him helping me to throw up the training camp and everything like that. So it's definitely been a big help. Olivier Paradis. Euh, Karim, à Vanier, tu, tu contrôlais beaucoup le jeu avec le ballon dans tes mains. Là, j'ai vu d'ailleurs qu'au premier match, tu étais beaucoup plus off-ball. Euh, de quelle manière, en fait, on essaie de, de j'ai envie de, 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 de diriger du côté du Magic? C'est quoi les instructions qu'on qu donne pour, pour que tu continues de progresser et dans quelle direction qu'on a envie de t'amener? Il euh, n'y a pas vraiment de direction, il n'y a pas vraiment de, de trucs qui me disent pour me diriger. Si je suis un joueur de basket, you know, si tu as l'air bon, juste push le tu es, es, es un point guard de nature. So juste joue, joue, joue ta game, mais il n'y a pas vraiment de direction. Mais comme, comme, comme tu l'as dit ici, je joue plus euh, comme euh, je joue plus off the ball que je jouais à Vanier, mais c'est comme ça. C'est quelque chose que je me suis habitué à faire parce que quand je jouais Team Canada l'année passée, j'étais plus uh, off the ball, j'étais plus un scoreur. So, c'est comme ça, quelque chose que j'ai été introduit à, à Team Canada puis que ça, ça, je, je suis confortable de jouer n'importe quelle position qui est ici. So, ça n'a pas vraiment été un, un, un ajustement pour moi. Okay, C'est un plaisir de te suivre. Dan Savage. Kareem, how has the Magic's coaching staff helped you since you've been here? And what have they communicated to you that they would like to see for you, from you when, you when you get on the court? Um, like I said, just play, play my game. Just play Play, play on both ends of the floor. I'm a, I'm a two-way player and I take pride in defense. So just having an impact on our de defensive end, that's something I take pride in. They don't really have to tell me much on that. But, and then on the offensive end, they, they didn't tell me really anything. Just be aggressive, get into the pain, create shot for yourself and for your teammates, just play. So that's it. Josh Robbins. I, th I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Kareem, but I think you mentioned that there's some good comedians on the team. Yeah. <laughs> who, who are some of the funnier guys? say James, James Ennis, pretty fun dude, and um, Michael Carl Williams, MCW too. I'm just curious also that for years, uh, Vooch and Evan Fournier have been speaking French with each other. I'm curious whether uh, you're, you speak often in French with them. Yeah, I pretty much speak only French with them. Okay, any final questions for Kareem? Okay, thank you. We